So, Josh, uh, welcome back. Main event. I'm curious at this point of your career, do these feel special or is it, hey, look, it's a fight. I'm going to get in there. There might be two extra rounds, but a fight's a fight. Yeah, exactly what you said. You know, it's a... Uh, I'm happy to be the uh, the main event. Um, I'm happy to be back with uh, fans and a crowd. And, um, yeah, but it's just another fight. Um, you know, I, I don't look at it any other way. Um, I always prepare the same. I, I've been preparing for a, a five, six-round fight my entire career. So, yeah, there there could be possibly two more rounds, but it's no different to me. You mentioned the fans. I feel like a lot of fighters have sort of thought, well, it won't be that different without the fans. And then they fight without the fans. They go, that was shit. I don't want to do that again. Are you the sort of guy who needs fans to really get the best out of yourself? No, like I, I don't need fans to get the best out of myself because at the end of the day, a fight's a fight. You know, if I was walking down the street and someone did something to me, I'm going to fight them. I'm not going to not, um, if, if I need to. But uh, yeah, a fight's a fight. Um, and uh, but I but I love the fans like I, I, I love the energy they bring. Um, I, I literally feed off that that energy and the crowd and stuff like that. And it's uh, it just makes it a little more exciting. You know what I mean? Don't go into the sport to fight in front of empty arenas, right? Yeah, you never know. But but COVID, it was cool to be a part of history yeah. um, and, and be the third, um, you know, fight. And it was just it was cool to experience that. Um, but it was weird, man. It was it was silent in an empty hangar and you could hear every like punch and kick and thud and slap. So it was definitely a, a, a different, um, but, I, but I was glad I got to do that as well. I think on paper, everyone would say that this fight has just got banger written all over it. I'm curious, when you hear that, do you sort of think, well, that suggests it's going to be a firefight and back and forth, or does that kind of annoy you where you think, no, I can make this one-sided, or how do you look at this fight, and do you agree that it has the potential to be a crazy one? Yeah, every fight has the potential to be, you know, one of the fights of the night, fight of the year, if I'm involved in it. Um, I feel like every single fight I've been in, everyone's like, this is a banger, this is going to be fireworks. So it's, uh, and, and it will, but at, at the end of the day, it's like, I really do not know what's going to happen. You know, it could be the toughest fight of my life, or it could be the easiest fight. And that's with every single fight, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, I prepare so hard for every single fight. I, I give all my opponents like the utmost respect and I know how good they are. And as you climb the ranks, they're even better. So, uh, yeah, I'm prepared. That's that's about it. You know what I mean. But uh, every fight, there's gonna be there's gonna be violence. That's for sure. You know what I mean. Like he's gonna be trying to take my head off. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with every strike I throw. I'm trying to finish the fight. So uh, we'll see what happens when I talk to you guys on Saturday night. He's a he's a tough guy, right? So when you say that, oh, I'm gonna be surrounding everything with the intentions of putting him out. I know you're a professional and you understand that, the, that a fight doesn't go how you plan it, but do you have to have a mindset of, hey, he might still be there after a couple of rounds, even if I'm hitting him with bombs and stuff? Yeah, of course. You know, t Calvin, he's he's never been finished. He's, uh, I think, one of his greatest attributes. He, he has many, but he's he's durable. He's super tough. The guy's always going to be in your face coming forward. And um, at the end of the day, I just have to show up. The best me shows up. No one in the world can beat me. And I'm just going to take it minute by minute, round by round, um, be as calm as possible, and just uh, do what I'm, I'm supposed to do on Saturday night. He's, he's mentioned how great his boxing is before, and I think his boxing is really good. But I would also say that your hands are fantastic. But what do you see as the difference between his striking and your striking? Yeah, Calvin has you know slick, great boxing. I feel like uh, nobody's ever seen me box, actually box boxers, uh, except my coaches and teammates. And... Uh, you come watch me box some pro boxers, and you guys will think my my boxing's great as well. Um, it's different with MMA gloves. You know, you can't just shell up, and uh, you know MMA gloves. You, those little gloves will you know sneak through the guard, and they can come around the um, your guard as well. So it's uh it's it's definitely different. But um, yeah, I think I have, you know, I know I have like some of the most powerful strikes in the division in the world. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna we're gonna find out what happens on Saturday night. Uh, you mentioned the division that Volkanovski's been saying. I need new challenges. I need new people to step up. I need these guys. Obviously, he has to get through Max, and that's a tough fight. But mm -hmm. do you think this one sort of makes you put your hand up and say, "You asked, and now you've got it. I'm the new guy." Yeah, right now I'm. I, I can't overlook anyone. I have a, a tough, dangerous opponent in front of me, and that's Calvin Cater. So I'm solely focused on getting my hand raised on Saturday night. But after I get my hand raised, man, you better believe uh, I'll be the, the new blood to mix things up. And, uh, yeah, that's the ultimate goal. Thanks, man.
Thank you. Hey, Josh. Hey, how you doing? What's the uh, relationship with uh, Shane Burgos like now? I saw that you brought him in to kind of emulate Cater. Yeah, you know, he's a... Uh, he, he's a phenomenal athlete. He's a, you know, he's a, he's a good dude. And, you know, he's, he's a big, long featherweight. You know, his reach is really long. He has a, a great jab. Cater has a great jab, great straight punches and good boxing. So, uh, you know, I, I reached out to him. My coaches and I were talking, like, who could emulate a lot of things. And, and I usually use, you know, my, my teammate and friend, Andre Feely, great look for a lot of opponents. But, you know, he had just fought and things like that. So, we uh, we reached out to Burgos and uh, yeah he he was down for it so I, I flew him and his brother out um, yeah and yeah just good looks and and things like that and uh, we we showed him like around Sacramento took him out to some great restaurants my favorite Japanese uh, place in Sacramento crew my buddy owns that and um, yeah we just had we had great training and uh, I think he's gonna come back out after his fight he has a big fight coming up um, I think in July sometime. And, uh, yeah, if, if he ever needs any help or training partners, I'll, I'll be happy to return the favor. And, of course, you guys went to war in the cage. Do you guys, did you guys, uh, like, kind of reminisce on that fight and talk about it? No, not really. Uh, maybe a little bit here and there. We talked about certain things that kind of like – the funny thing is after, you know, spending, you know, a week with him and really getting to know him, it's like we have – we our philosophy on a lot of things are pretty similar. Uh, we, we think the same, even like I would say something and he's like, man, I've never heard anyone say that, but that's exactly how I think of it. Um, so it was cool. You know, I, I'd say he, he became a friend of mine and, uh, yeah, we'll definitely get some more training in. And we, we, we got some boxing sparring rounds in, we got some MMA sparring rounds in, and then just tons of just drilling and drilling and just everything. So it was, we were doing two, three workouts a day for a week and yeah, it was a, it was a good time one of those things now where you guys kind of like had an agreement like hey we, we're not gonna actually fight again <laughs> yeah yeah you never know it's like yeah but who, who knows at the end of the day i never want to fight a friend or a teammate you know unless they were the champion and there was like huge stakes on the line i still wouldn't want to do it but at the end of the day i will be a world champion so um, i would have to uh, you're on a bit of a win streak right now i think four fight win streak uh if you were to win saturday night it would be five do you think you uh, immediately would get a shot at the title, or you think you'd need to have a couple more wins under your belt? Yeah, no. I um, like I said, I'm, I'm solely focused on Calvin Cater right now. But when I get my hand raised, I I, I think that's the only um, option is to be next in line for the title. Um, but I have to get my hand raised on Saturday night. Do you feel like you can take this fight uh, to the ground if if you need to? Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm prepared. This is MMA, so it's um, I, I train mixed martial arts every day, everywhere. I, I've been doing that my entire career, so it's like I, I can go wherever the fight goes. You know, it's uh, I, I can, I can, I can keep it standing. I can win standing. I could win really anywhere. So it's uh, I'm definitely prepared where the fight goes. We're just gonna have to see kind of what uh plays out and what happens on Saturday night. Uh, you see in the in the UFC, many of the uh, champions right now, a lot of them are heavy with grappling, wrestling. Uh, you have a wrestling uh, background yourself. Do you feel like that's what um, you, you're going to need, you know, being an overall all, all-rounded fighter to be champion one day? Um, of course, yeah, I possess it. You know, I possess everything. I, I Like I said, I train everything. Um, but you know what I mean, the... I know what the fans want to see. I know what Dana White and the UFC wants to see. And that's why, I've, you know, I, I, I fell in love with boxing and striking. And uh, I wouldn't be in the position I am today if I, I wasn't standing there and throwing huge bombs and, and, and knocking people out. Good luck Saturday night. Thank you. I appreciate it.